Director of Divine Angels International LLC, a registered trademark. Um, I do essential oils for hair and body. I am I'm first a uh, child of God, then I am a child to my mother and my father. I'm a sister, I'm a niece, I'm an aunt, I'm a cousin, I'm a, a, a mom, I'm a grandmother. Um, God has blessed me so. Um, being part of the program, I, you know, I, first I started off Divine Angels International thinking that it was going to be for children. And it turned out to be essential oils for the hair and the body. Why? Because my hair was dry, my body was dry. Um, I started off doing a stinky oil. I call it a stinky oil because it's stank. <laughs> <laughs> but it grew the mess out of my hair and my daughter's hair. <laughs> and it was because I used the oil the wrong way. But it worked. And even to this day, my daughter still says, Mom, Please make the stinky oil for me. So that is that's actually going to be something I'm thinking about putting in my line of products. Um, had no idea that God was going to do what He did. He gave me the name in 2011 when I lost my son, and it evolved to me doing essential oils because people would hug me and they say, "Oh, you smell so good. Where did you buy that?" And I said, I didn't buy it, I made it. And they said, well, we want some. And I said, well, I'll teach you how to do it. And they said, uh-uh, 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 no. We don't want to do all that. <laughs> you make it, and we'll buy it. And that's how uh, Essential Oils for, you know, became part of Divine Angels International LLC. Um, being part of the program has been life changing for me. I had no idea that I would be doing vendor events. Um, I kept saying, I am not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And Cindy did the Women Expo. And she said, oh, come on. You got to do it. You got to do it. And I was like, I don't really want to do all that. You got to carry all this stuff. You got to, you know, you got it's a lot of work, you know. Um, I stayed up. Because that was my first vendor's event. I don't make my essential oils ahead of time too much because they have a light shelf. It's, it's, they expire, right? And so I stayed up for two whole days making oils to make sure that when I went to the women of the women expo that I was prepared. I was prepared, okay? And that was the first vendor's event. And since then I've done five. <laughs> so, this is how this program, it's, you know, it expands you. It opens your mind up to new opportunities, new doors, new, new money, new everything. If you just commit, I committed. But this was the thing: I waited until the last minute to do the courses. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> I, I've been talking to Cindy, saying, okay, we're going to do something different next year. I'm going to be right there with her. So we're going to do something different so nobody's stressed out at the end. I was stressed trying to get that done. I got done Tuesday night. I'm like, uh-uh, no. I don't, want nobody, I don't want nobody to feel like I felt, even though I finished. I finished, and it's all by the grace of God. And thank you, Cindy. I appreciate you um, and everybody else who helped me. Ms. Vita, Ms. Vita pulled me into one of her vendors events. Uh, Stacy has talked to me. Um, Tracy, we ain't done yet, baby. We just we ain't even started yet. But I just thank God for this program.